Hello, I'm Mauer here. Can you see us? Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to NFTV. Today we are switching the focus back to the women's side on a glorious winter's day. Spring is trying to break through, the sunshine in the air, still a little bit cold though. But we are heading over to Druid Park, not Kingston Park, I'm picking up my cousin in a minute. And we're going to head over to see how they get on. Newcastle have games in hand of Durham, we know this. Durham will also have another game after today, they away to Hull. So effectively Newcastle have that big game against Durham on the 14th. We'll have three games in hand potentially. Newcastle face Leeds, who are sitting in mid-table. They've got loads of games in hands themselves. The league's a little bit all over the place with the fixtures. But we're going to head over there. Newcastle women need to continue winning because if you come second in this league, you stay in the league. There's no playoff systems. Let's get over there. John by daily looking forward to it today. Ah, it is. It's going to be an interesting game. It's kind of like a derby kind of thing. Newcastle versus Leeds, man. I bet you never had a backstreet guy. I bet her mama never told her why. I'm gonna try for an uptown girl. She's been living in a white bread world. As long as anyone with hot blood can. And now she's looking for a downtown man. That's Right, everybody, let's take a look at the lineup. No Katie Barker. Where is she? Yeah, so that's the, the biggest one from the lineup. Uh, let's take a look. Grace Donnelly's in goal. Left back, you've got Kira Skelton. Right back, you've got England Youth International Daisy Burt. Two centre backs, Potty, who had on the channel last week. And of course, Freya Bales, who uh, we've seen at Wembley. In centre midfield, you've got Beth Guy holding it in midfield. Uh, George Gibson is there as well. Rachel Lee, great to see her back in the starting lineup. On the right hand side, I think it's going to be uh, Millie Bell, I think will be over there. On the left, it's going to be Casey Elson. And up top, it's youngster Becky Ferguson. But take a look at the bench, very strong. You've got Lauren Robson, Anna Soulsby, Ellie Dobson, Cara Mill, Redhead, and you've got Charlie Pizzarella. So, very strong bench today. Let's see how the lasses get on. When she knows what she wants from the legend that is Colin Locke. No falling over this week, Colin. Good spot by Dale. These are in all white and we're black and white. A bit of a kick clashing going on, isn't it, Dale? I would have thought of when it came out there, it was definitely like kick clashing, so hopefully like it doesn't hinder because obviously two teams playing in white can like obviously pass them another like obviously to another team. So So this is the new camera that the ladies are using, which captures the game. New piece of technology, love it. Heavens have opened. Yep, but well, we're still here committed as ever. Look at this. It's snowing. It's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> She's in. Go on. Oh. Casey Elson's just actually been floored. Uh, we're about 35 minutes in. It's very, very tight. Nil nil. Leeds are just cannoned one off the bar. So 
So I've just spoken to one or two people in the clubhouse just before. Katie's injuries is not serious with Scrape, so she should be back for the game against Durham Sestra. Uh, Casey's just had a chance which has been saved and missed it because someone wanted the photo take. Casey Elson again. Right, so it's a hard fought win for Becky, but we say this every week, this league is, uh, isn't easy. We'll bring up the league table as I bring Dale in here. Dale, tell me your thoughts uh, on today. Um, it was a hard fought match. Um, definitely both teams were kind of lacking the first half. It was like lack of chances, didn't have the confidence, but in the second half, Newcastle performed really well, but were on top of things. And we got it, we won there. Easy, hard, gritty, four games. You got chances and we took them. Yeah, uh, whatever Becky said at half time work because we were a different team second half. But maybe someday when my ship comes in, you'll understand what kind of guy I've been. And then I win. And when she's walking, she's looking so. Right, uh, full time, we are joined by Lloyd. Lloyd, that was, a, I say this every week, it's, this league isn't easy and that was a tough win. What did you and Becky say at half time? Because for, for me, we looked a totally different side coming out in that second half. Yeah, I think at half time, some of the areas that we wanted to be better at were the second phases to sustain the attack. So we'd attack with a certain ball, whether it be over, which was quite common in today's game. But then we needed to make sure that we're ready to collect the next ball. Um, I think we did that a lot better. Second half, I think what also helped second half was we were a little bit more tidier with our first touch on the forward pass in the final third. It broke down in those moments, first half. Right, everybody, we are joined by, for me, star of the show. Uh, Casey, I want to get straight to your performance. Is that your best performance of the season? <laughs> Some may say, but I'm oh, not sure. Oh, come on, big yourself up, it was. <laughs> yeah, it felt good, felt good on the pitch, yeah. It was, everything was going through your first half. Uh, you took a, a, a bit of a hit, mind. I mean, are you all right? Yeah, I think I'll feel that in the morning. I'll get some physio done and I'll be back sharp, hopefully. Player of the match has to be Casey. I mean, she was absolutely sensational. The ball was going around numerous times. I mean, what, what, but is that for you a performance of the season to date? I think it could be one of them. I'd like to think, you know, I think so far this season, Casey's had a brilliant season so far, but we're, we're going to keep trying to stretch and challenge her. Um, I think first half, she'd, she'd be honest, that she, she had space to improve and I think one of the areas that she did improve was when it went, went into her. Uh, her first touch was forward and really attacked the full-back and that created opportunities to score, which thankfully we did. Her, you know, the first goal was brilliant, just that uh, alertness, aggression to win it and, and make sure she was clinical in front of the six-yard box. What did Becky say 
to the girls at half time because for me, he's looked a totally different side. She just to keep persevering. We know how to play our football. We've played up to the game today. Maybe we were a little bit pressured, but second half, clean slate, and we knew what we had to do. We needed them three points, and we made it count. Your first goal, it was a cross, then it was a bit of a block, and you smashed it home. The celebrations, you had one or two fans getting a little bit excited at the side there. You were as well. And then talk to me about that second goal as well, just because for me, that killed the game off. Yeah, well, we know we need a second goal in a team's like this and teams in our league we know if we lose one bit of concentration that's three points gone so we knew we needed a second and just to release the pressure on our defence and all of us really and uh, yeah I, I see in Fergie's press and we, we have to press together and when the defender slips up for on goal and I think the keeper actually saves my one-on-one -on -one, so I'm like beating myself up but I know I've got to get over it quick I see Anna with the ball um, that was a shot by Anna wasn't it <laughs> she says it was going in but <laughs> I said I don't think it was so yeah if I didn't get on it, I know Georgia would because she was right behind me. So, yeah. Rachel Lee, I think was our, that was our first start of the yeah. season, especially second half. Me and Dale were speaking off camera. The experience that she has and the calmness, the influence that she had, she was finding the right pass, was putting her foot in, that positional sense. She was also sensational. Yeah, and, and she brings off pitch as well in terms of the dressing room. Certainly at half time, she had some important, noteworthy. Uh, thoughts on how we need to improve second half but in moments like you mentioned we needed calmness on, on collecting the ball and uh, in that tr transition of regaining possession sometimes first half we lost it on the first pass we don't need to do that um, and she makes you know what she does do is with that experience make the right pass at the right time to the right player and when you get all three of them right you've got a chance it's a great win, it's a fantastic win, but considering now, if you look at the league table, I know you are probably sick of hearing it, but it is between us and Durham. Durham, yeah. Durham have won again today, and they'll play again on Sunday, and then it's the big one at Kingston Park, which get yourselves down there, we need you there. Is that the one where you're looking at now thinking, right, we've got to get a result there, or is there too much to play for for the rest of the season? There's still seven games left, and that's 21 points. We get every three points, we take every game the same. We're getting confidence, we're building on, and next game is just the same as every game that we approach. It'll be a good opponent, it'll be a good good game, so everyone should get down and come and support. Durham have won. I'm sure you know that. Newcastle have won. Have you have won, yeah. Sorry to break, it's bad news. Yeah. It's as you were, two games in hand. They'll play again before the big one next Tuesday. How do you see this going down? It's between us and Durham. and Is that now the game there where you look at it and think, we have to win that game? Or is there so much more to play for in the rest of the season? Yeah, I think that leaves us with uh, seven games left. Durham being our next one uh, a week on Tuesday. So the, it, the season's more than just the 14th of March against Cestria. Likewise, for their perspective. So, yeah, it is an important game, but we'll not be looking beyond our next match against them on Tuesday. Thank you very much, Lloyd. That was Lloyd, everybody. Assistant Manager to Becky. This is now, you know, crunch time. We're getting down to the business end of the season. Is this, this the, These are the type of games that you want to look forward to. I know there is a very strong rumour that we might be a game of St. James's Park coming up, but, you know, this, these are the games that you want to be involved in. Definitely. You want to be involved in every game. Every game in this season counts, and the game, as I said, next week is the same as any other, but we will be very confident and excited to get, get on that pitch under the lights in front of our fans and get them three points. That was Casey Elton without a shadow of a doubt, play out of the match. Thank you. Thank you very much, Casey. Right, everybody, that's it. Uh, drop us a like. Me and Dale have enjoyed ourselves We have today. indeed. It's a great, great, a great game, win. actually. Great win. Great win for the girls. And yeah, drop us a like, everyone. See us.